Kia Tomlin. I'm a fashion designer, a wife, and a mother. I come from a really artistic family. We put on shows all the time, and I've always loved to design clothes. No one in my family is involved in fashion. For some reason, I was. I knew what I liked and the styles I wanted to wear, so I asked for a sewing machine. My mom was just incredibly supportive. We basically learned together. Our first project was a little stuffed mallard duck, the kind that comes with a little cutout around the picture, and you can just sew it and stuff it. So we made that successfully, and I said, all right, I'm onto a jumpsuit with tapered legs. <laughs> and I think my mom was like, <laughs> From the time I was 12, I was sewing my own clothes and wearing them to school. Aside from working and going to gymnastics, that's what I did at home, as I sewed and designed. Growing up, gymnastics was a huge part of my life. I went to William & Mary on a gymnastics slash academic scholarship. I, I sewed and designed all through college, even though I was a pre-med major. I actually um, sewed and designed my bridesmaids dresses during final exams my senior year. <laughs> I met Mike freshman year of college in the training room. We were both athletes and we were both injured, and so we were getting treatment at the same time. We just became friends and two years later we actually started dating. But he, I will say that he did chase pretty good up until then. <laughs> We got married um, two weeks after I graduated from college and then rented a U-Haul and drove out to Memphis, Tennessee where Mike was a graduate assistant. While he was doing that, I was also finishing my pre-med requirements and studying for the MCAT. The morning that I was scheduled to take the MCAT test, something just said, oh, you know what, not today, I don't want to take the test today. Just said to myself that, you know, next time the test rolls around, if this is what I want to do, I'll take it then. A good friend of mine, uh, her mom, told me just to figure out what I love to do and then find a way to make money doing it. I got a job coaching at the University of Cincinnati where they do have a design program and since he was an employee of the college, um, I could go for free as a spouse. Looking back, it's obvious what I love to do. I did it all the time. I never stopped doing it and never looked back. No regrets. Being married to um, a head football coach, it is, it's an adjustment, it is a lot to take on. It, it can be a job in and of itself if you want it to be, if you allow it to be. I choose for it not to be. I'm an independent person. I like to know that I'm self-sufficient and can support myself, and I think that comes from growing up. My parents divorced early, and my mom was left to support us. Times were very tough and tight, but she just worked hard and got extra jobs when she needed to and, um, and never looked back. All along when we got here, I had been working quietly from home, enough that it would fulfill me the way I, I was needing to be fulfilled, but at the same time, allowing me to raise my kids. When my um, youngest daughter started kindergarten, I had this big block of time. The custom business was picking up. I moved into my first location at an interior designer's showroom. People really only get custom designs for the, like, the most special occasion, which is really neat to be chosen to design for such a special event, but at the same time it's so limiting and people just wear it once. And I just wanted people to really just live in my clothes. When I started designing the collection, Uptown Sweats to me was for the woman who had a lot to get done, was very active, didn't want to be controlled by their outfit, whether it was appropriate or inappropriate, but that just wanted to be comfortable and dig her heels in and get her work done. Started with um, my first sweatshirt dress, which I now call the signature dress. When I first designed it, it was just this little dress that I didn't even finish, but whenever I would wear it, people would stop me and want to know where I got my dress, so I knew I was onto something. My experience doing custom design, I think it's really reflected in my designs because I have an appreciation for real women's bodies, so I really do try to take that into consideration. It's really exciting to see people enjoying uh, my work. It makes me feel like I'm on the right track. This is so beautiful to see all my friends and family here to celebrate the opening of my, well, my flagship store. <laughs> it's always been a goal to open up a kind of a retail design studio. I had gotten to know Sandra over the last few years and I love her handbags and jewelry. So I invited Sandra to join me and I think it's been a, a great collaboration. I love every aspect of it. Probably I guess the best is just seeing a happy customer. I'd love to see Uptown Sweats change the way women dress and really bring uh, sweats outside of the realm of workout clothes and into our real lives. So I guess I just want to go more mainstream. <laughs>